My name is Natalia Rodriguez. I am from the Dominican Republic. I came to the television management program in Philadelphia at Drexel because it sort of spoke to me. When I first started the program or started looking for a program, I was a little bit concerned because I came from a production background and I really wanted to go into the administrative and business side. And so I was looking for something that would be able to, to take that mix and put it together. Um, and it just so happened that they had it here at Drexel. Um, so I kind of knew what I was getting into. I kind of knew that the program would give me that management side, that business side that I wanted um, because of the coursework of the Lebeau, the business school, um, which I did really well in and I really enjoyed. And it was exactly what I was looking for. If I could stress anything, it would be that this is a TV management program. Um, it's for people who want to be managers, who want to be on the business side, um, who are looking for a degree that are going to help them advance on, in the background, not in the foreground, not in front of a camera, um, and definitely not doing production work. Um, if you want to be a script writer, then this is probably not what you want to be. Um, but if you want to manage script writers and help guide what scripts are going to be on set um, and what's going to make it at the end to production, if that's what you want to do, then this is for you. In the TV management program, the amount of people that were in the classes varied, but generally there was about 30 of us in any given coursework. Um, as the classes got more specific, then the numbers dropped. Um, at the least, I had eight people in a class, and at the most, I had 30. And it was great because I never felt like there wasn't any time to have a good attention and, and, and to get to know my, my colleagues and to get to know my professors. So I think the size was, was good. The variety was good. Some of the things that were really great about being here and having two cohorts instead of one, you know, the part-time option, um, was I got to meet a lot of people. And some of those people started their internships year one. And six months later, you know, we're still in contact. I'm still hanging out with these people and talking to them on occasion. They were very diverse. There was half of them were female and half of them were male. There was people from all over um, USA as well as outside of the country, China. Uh, we had people from Dubai, we had people from Hong Kong, um, India. Uh, and it was just a lot of variety. The, the type of people that were throwing out ideas in classes um, was not something I had really thought about. And so that gave me an interesting perspective. And then the second year around, the cohort was completely different. They were younger and edgier, and they had this like different desire to be in the industry that the first cohort didn't. Um, and there was a different drive there. And I was able to make connections on both, both levels. Part of the way the program works, the TV management program works, is you're, you start off sort of learning about, you know, the audience and you start learning about you know programming and you start thinking about your thesis right away um, that was really beneficial I mean you really at the end of the program you have to have that thesis you have to you're, you're gonna let go you know you're gonna finish the program and you're just off and you have to go work and a lot of us do forget the, the thesis work so it's really great to have that first intro class already focus on that and that was great um, then after we built on those you know, initial ideas of programming and how content is viewed and, and why we want to view content and what we're thinking about writing as a thesis, we move on to other things like sales, we move on to you know, finance information, marketing, you know, how to take that and how to put it into the audience. One of my funnest classes was audience measurement just because it really gave me a feel for how important it is. And at the end of the day, you know, ratings is what drives television. So that was a really key. Um, and then additionally after that, I felt that some of the coursework that we did was a little bit more expansive in the sense that I was able to sort of tailor what I wanted. So whether I wanted to do social media, whether I wanted to go into the production side, um, or whether I wanted to do sales. Those were courses I could take sort of as electives towards the end of, of the program. And that gave me sort of more versatility to be able to tailor what I wanted to tailor with the degree. The professors were really the ones that were giving me sort of that insider look about what are, is available in the industry and what jobs that I didn't know about. Um, but those that didn't come from the industry, like the law professors, you know, they were the ones that really gave me a different idea. They, they made television much more accessible for me. It was interesting to meet some of the people that were coming in as guest speakers in the program. 
Um, the couple that owns Banyan Productions came in and they were definitely interesting to see. They've been working for 20 years in production. Um, they've been working with reality, which is a, an interesting side of television, um, a recent side of television. And they were able to give me this great insight about how they stay relevant in the industry, how they stay up to date and how you know they compete in the market. It's a, it's a difficult market, the reality market. Anytime I reached out to any of the professors, they were always willing to respond they were always there um, if I ever had an issue I mean there was a 24-hour turnaround to emails like which was what I expected and it, they met expectations um, they sat down with me when I wanted to interview they helped me with my resume they helped me with my cover letter they passed on recommendations I mean that was exactly what I expected from a faculty member post graduating when you're thinking about getting a job you're thinking about how to network um, and the faculty here at the TV management program really helped with that um, on both ends, not just finding a job, but also I'm with my thesis. So whether it's, you know, throwing out Terry Mayer's name, who works for Harmelin Media at my job interview and getting a good smile, or whether it was, you know, trying to get some people to talk to me from YouTube for my thesis, you know, throwing out some people's names, it really helps. And, and the faculty, you have that relationship and they can, they can back you up whenever you throw out their name. The coursework at the program, um, it just prepared me to be a little bit more aware of the terms that are used in the industry. So I walked into work day one and I wasn't completely unaware of how it is to look at ratings and what they're meant to do. You know, I knew what Nielsen was about and I knew how to read it and I could do those reports a lot quicker. People who don't, you know, who wouldn't have that background, who didn't get the coursework, they would be a little bit slower. So I was a quick learner and I was able to impress my boss that way. I'm working at the Game Show Network. It's really great. I'm in the sales side, which is really nice because I get to work with different people in the industry. So I'm working with agencies, I'm working with people in the media side. Um, and I get to work with people that are actually producing the work as well. Um, so it's really great. We are located in New York City. Um, you know, the hub where they actually film stuff at the show is all in California, and the digital is all in Boston. So really, sort of the New York is, is the guys that schmooze, the guys that um, they go out there bringing the money. So I get to do that, and it's really fun. I get to meet a lot of people and I'm making a lot of contacts. If I had to tell a prospective student what to but the best part of this program was and why they should do it is because it helped me find a job in the industry I wanted and it didn't even take that long. I finished in September and I had a job in December. So if I could do it, you could do it.